Hello friends, welcome to another vlog. This week I have a like literal list of stuff to tell you guys. Um, the first one is one that probably is going to be no surprise to anyone. This skirt, while I love it, and I think it's a great skirt, is not the one. It just isn't. Um, unfortunately, I am like, get hey, baby. I Mm -mm. not for the ball it's not screaming at me so um, I have come to the conclusion that my um, answer is very simple and you all know what it is I'm just gonna make the damn bustle dress so um, insert applause noise here um, <laughs> I have finally just given up trying to force anything into the 1890s because I've been telling you for like six months now that I really don't want to make an 1890s dress so I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna make a late 1880s dress. <sighs> Which is great. Which means um, I'm still gonna make a bustle pad. So, A. A. Still gonna finish this skirt. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish it right this second or not, but I'm gonna finish it. And I'm gonna wear it. Like, I still wanna make the outfit that goes with this. So, I just don't wanna wear it to the ball, I think. Um, and so I still need a bustle pad for that situation. Um, which would probably be a lot like Marika's um, one based on the, I think it's called the Scott one, where it has um, a half moon back and then side hip pads. Um, so that'll happen. Um, but also, I'm going to go ahead and make another bustle pad that will go, or a different bustle pad, <laughs> that will go underneath my cage bustle. Because I don't like the angle, so here's the thing, as we've discussed, I don't have a badunka dunk It's just not there. Like, there's nothing back there, it's like a table. It's just completely flat. So, um, when other people have the nice little shelf curve that comes off their bustle in the late 1880s, I don't have that. Um, no matter if I put a cage on, it just sort of goes down. Which is cool, except I want it to like not just immediately go down. I want it to go out and then down. Um, so in order to achieve that, I think I need to lift and support the cage a little bit, and then I might actually put another bustle pad on top of the cage um, in order to get the right shape. So probably that's the first thing I'm going to work on, is getting the right shape for my skirt. And then everything else is like very familiar to me, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, well, no, that's a lie. The, the, ba the ball gown bodice is probably not familiar to me, so I should mock that up and like check it out and make sure it's like the one before <laughs> I, I just think everything's gonna be cake from here so yeah um, what, is, what else is on my list um, okay so with regard to this skirt the red one um, I'm gonna take the pocket out <laughs> because it's useless like I think it's hysterical that someone called it an 1890s fanny pack but um, yeah not happening I'm just not gonna take it out um, I got through all my comments. I'm so excited. Like all of the comments that were waiting, I think I um, at least read them all and gave them the crater heart, if not actually responded to every single one from all my backlog of videos. I feel super awesome about that. I have a note that says boob is benign. Okay, so <laughs> for all the people who were asking about my um, little procedure where I got biopsied, um, everything came out normal and my mom was like oh good now you don't have to worry and I was like mom I wasn't worried about it <laughs> like <laughs> I like there was they took off a thing that I has been the same for my entire life so I'm just like why do you need to remove this um so fun times fun times um my patreon launched really well I'm really excited about it I am floored that people want to help out and contribute and I appreciate every single one of you. What happened down in my pond area? Oh, looks like my gardener got excited today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am really excited about the Patreon going as well as it did. I am like absolutely floored that there's as many of you as there are and I am overjoyed to have you and I will strive to give you worthwhile content. Um, I have been thinking about what um, like posts and videos I can do in there so I am gonna make it definitely hopefully fun um, in that area um, people keep asking me about Tarleton and where to find it okay peeps <laughs> Google is your friend um, so Tarleton literally comes up as the first non-ad search results non-ad so it's actually the fourth one down 
Um, search result, if you search Tarleton fabric, <laughs> it actually comes from a press, like a printing press. Anyway, it's called Takach Press, T-A-K-A-C-H Press. I will leave a link down below. It, the site looks like this when you, there we go. Anyway, so they use it to clean off the like stuff that they press with. What are those called? Keys? No, not keys. You know what I mean? Like the letters and stuff, they use it to clean those. So, and to clean the press plates off. Um, so that's where you get it, and it's only like $2 a yard. Um, so anyway, this snow will still get used, and I probably actually have to make more snow because this is not two bum pads worth. Um, so, um, probably the first thing I'm going to do right now, um, is go to lunch. <laughs> and then the second thing I do when I come back from lunch is to get out my bustle and put it on this, um, mannequin to see what I need to do for the shape. The problem is this mannequin actually has a bigger butt than I do, so it's hard for me to tell. I just have to assume that I need to make it even higher in order to go on my butt. I will obviously try it on me too. Um, today though, I do have a lot of getting stuff ready to do because I'm going to go to a photo shoot with Lynn McMasters tomorrow at Lori Tavin's house. Um, which is very exciting. It's Lori's photo shoot, it's not mine. So I will take you with us and um, we will film there for sure. Um, but I'm gonna sneak in a little bit of photo shooty time for myself, apparently. Lynn's very excited about being able to take pictures of me, apparently, because she keeps sending me emails. And I've never done this before, <laughs> so I'm like, please keep sending me the emails because I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, Normally I just show up in costume and I stand wherever people tell me to stand and I get what I get, but these guys are actually like good at this and they have a backdrop and stuff, so I'm pumped. Um, I might get something excellent out of this. We will see. Um, Lynn is a very good photographer also. Lynn is really good at all art things, like that's the thing about Lynn, she's amazing at that. Um, what else is happening this weekend? After that I'm immediately coming home, dropping my stuff and going to a bowling situation tomorrow night as I um, party for my friend Vi who was also my boss. I will not take you with me to that. And then Sunday I have a baby shower to go to. And then Monday I'm going to the white elephant sale. People in the Bay Area know what this means. I don't know what this means. I've never been before. So it's in Oakland. Um, and it's like every weekend for this entire month they have stuff on sale that's like costumey sort of or vintage or antique and I don't even know so we're gonna go check that out and give it a go and I'm super excited to to go to this finally because my friends have been talking about it for years and years so um and they usually come home with stuff somehow so and I don't know what the quality of all that stuff is gonna be so <laughs> we shall see we shall see um anyway I'm gonna go to lunch with my bestie and then I'll be back to start the process of getting looking at the mannequin just to see what I need to do and making a plan because that's like the first step in anything is making the plan um, and then uh, after that I will start I need to iron like a crazy person because I'm bringing my blue dress I'm bringing Watson and I'm bringing my 18th century gown so I'm very like I don't know how we're gonna shoot all this I don't think we are my goal really is to get the 18th century gown shot because I have some pictures of Watson and the blue gown that I just took so at least I have something of those already, but I don't really have very much of the um, 18th century gown besides what I got in France at Le Vicomte. But like, I didn't love those shots, like they weren't all the best, so... Um, like some of them are really great, and some of them are like meh meh, so... Something new and something fresh would be nice. Um, yeah, that Instagram life though, like, <laughs> you have to keep taking pictures or else you run out of stuff to like post, which, yeah. It's like videos. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Hello, I'm at Lori's studio. We are about to have a photo shoot. I am all set. I have cool hair, which I can't see. Um, and we are gonna do a little shooty shoot now. <laughs> Lori's getting little shots. Sample shots. <laughs> okay, we'll have to keep double checking to make sure we didn't. Um, yeah. How do you want the span? Okay. Well, you you can do all kinds of things with the finger. You don't have to put it like right in front of you and block your view. You can you can yeah you can put it down like that. Although yeah, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, something like that. 
And um, we should, um, let's, let me take one or two when you're doing that. Just plain face. Ah, uh, he is not good at pinning. How did my husband like not pin through the two now, objects? Now, would you move just a little, your, your head, not you, mm. sorry. I'm saying you are perfectly in the focus. Oh, I like that. I have a tear. Okay. You need some tissue? Maybe at some point. Now, if you bring this arm up, but keep the fan kind of open and with the design, yes, that's perfect. Something like that is good. Oops, I forgot to bring the focus first. Oh, stay, stay like that. <laughs> You're mad at me, aren't you? <laughs> no. I'm trying so, to be Lori, like, don't so, smile. So yes. here, I started smiling. I don't know if you noticed. Did. My son started smiling. I keep, like, wanting to, like, <sighs> be like, smile, and it, like, you smiled. So now, can you move the fan to the other hand and put it out away from you? Yes, like that. Oops. Okay, cheers. Oh, I should have gotten a picture of that. <laughs> no, just uh, the half smile was good. A half smile. Just a little teeth. You were at a half smile and then you went all the way. Oh, would you? <laughs> what does it have to do? You, you move a pendant right to the center. To Wait, you. how do what? I beg to buy these? <laughs> <laughs> how what? How do I beg to buy these? Because I know oh, this set. I never want to take it off. I was going to give the set to you if it works <gasps> okay. Is this my photo shoot payment? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Now, can you maybe can we figure out a way maybe to get the cap a little bit closer yeah. to your head? The curls are holding it out. To, no, I mean on the side, not in the front. I want to see your bangs in the front. I so I want you to push it back in the front. But yeah. I was hoping it would be a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So that. Just, like okay. That. Just do her, and you can judge this later. Okay. <laughs> She's not even dressed, and she's got the cap on already, right? Hell yeah! I was like, a smile. Oh. Was a half smile. Do do a half smile so you can see. Just a little bit of teeth. Yes, not yeah, yeah, like that. That's good. Oops. Smoky eye, I like the smoky eye. There we go. <laughs> Smiles. Smile. Now, um, I don't know how to smile at all. Well,
Okay, apparently this is the Oakland Museum Women's Board White Elephant Sale that I'm about to go to, and it's in this giant warehouse. So we shall see how this goes. These out? Uh, this one. This red one you're interested in. Do you want this one, Holly? Or no? We found no. some I fans. I found Sarai, Hi. link down below, and Holly, link down below.
hi so it's tuesday evening and we've had a major family crisis um without getting into too much detail chris's mom um has had a stroke and so we are uh without chris now so he has gone back to maine to help deal with um, the aftermath of that um, today. We found this out last night, so we put him on a plane today. So that took up most of my day, was like getting plane tickets and like <laughs> packing him and doing all the stuff that like required help on a quick basis. So, <clears throat> cool, <laughs> there went my sewing day. Um, uh, but obviously for very good reason. So, um, this vlog is weird. I'm, I'm just starting to think they're all weird. Maybe you guys just like weird. <laughs> um, I'm trying to stay in good spirits, as you can tell, but today was kind of stressful. So, And then to top things off, I have to go to Disneyland tomorrow for tomorrow and Thursday. So that's Wednesday and Thursday. Um, I promised my bestie's little girl, who's five, that I would go to Disneyland with her. And she's at the age where adults keeping promises to her matters and... She's been hype about this for like a month, and uh, and all I'm doing here is sitting by the phone and waiting for Chris. So we have jointly decided that I should go to Disneyland, even though I would rather kind of not, because it's really like weird to be concerned about Chris's mom and also Chris and like how he's doing and stuff. Um, while um, this is going on, so. Um, what I will ask you guys is please do not dispense a million paragraphs of medical advice to me in the comments. Like, I'm already kind of having a hard time with it. It's not my jam to, like, manage on this one. It's Chris's, so it doesn't matter what you tell me. Like, Chris is dealing with it, and it's way past, by the time you see this, it's way past, like, the day that it happened. So, um, she's in good care. She's in the hospital, they're gonna send her to a rehab facility afterwards, so... I, I feel like, can we just not talk about this? Can I ask that? <laughs> that would make me feel better, actually, if, if that could happen. Um, I did want to come on here, um, because basically, since I'm gonna be gone Wednesday and Thursday, like, this is the end of the vlog, and I didn't do anything. I went to the photo shoot, and I went to the White Elephant Sale. So if you live anywhere near the Bay Area, the White Elephant Sale actually happens in March, the first weekend in March, I think. And you can look that up. It's the um, Oakland Museum White Elephant Sale. Um, I went to a preview situation. They preview from like the last weekend in January all the way through February. And then they have the sale the first weekend in March. So um, anyway, I decided to come on here and show you what I got so that I can close out this vlog with like, a whole thing having happened <laughs> for once. <laughs> um, so the first thing I got was this beautiful fur coat. It was $15. It is damaged, like it's ripped apart, as you can see up here. Um, there's other tears in it here and there. Um, I got it largely to tear it apart, actually, so that I can make collars and cuffs out of it um, for historical garments. My stance is that if it's vintage like this, then it's cool because um, it's better than this going like in a landfill, you know, like at least I can give it another life and whatever. Um, I probably wouldn't buy new fur, but I'm actually not that opposed to it. I don't really see a difference between like, let's call it varmint fur, <laughs> like rabbits and minks and stuff that we raise for that. I don't see a difference between that and like eating meat or wearing leather. So, um, as long as they're like humanely destroyed before it happens and all that stuff, like, it's not awesome and I would probably not buy it because like new fur because of that like I don't really want to kill more animals that's not my thing but I'm also not gonna really judge someone who has a new rabbit fur coat or something um, I obviously have a problem with like endangered species coats and like just <sighs> gratuitous amounts of fur vintage fur though and like fur that is recycled essentially I can't knock it and so I am gonna try and use it um yeah I have like you know obviously a Victorian ice skating uh outfit is like in my brain all the time um Rebecca Mayton um made one and it was so gorgeous I don't know if hers has real fur on it or not but whew. 
I'm so jelly of that outfit. So I bought this coat to do that. I have also a black one somewhere, I think, in my closet that I bought. That was also like $10. Um, so I have two colors, which I really like. I think it's really pretty. It's just, there's actually little slits, like, all over it. Like, here's one. We can just stick your finger in there because it's, like, coming apart. So I think it's better that I cut it up. Okay, let me get all the rest of the stuff I bought. Okay, next I bought these three sandalwood fans. Um, these two particularly are good for Regency. They sort of actually can go kind of anywhere because they were all their age for a while. And then they were just around, so a lot of them existed. So these are good for costuming, just generally to have a fan to hold and use in pictures. And then this one I thought was particularly beautiful. Um, it's good for... Um, definitely Victorian too, so I'm excited about this guy. I also got these two plumes, which are like several feathers each of ostrich plume, and they are fluffy and beautiful and um, vintage. They were six bucks each, which I was like, yes to. Um, I think there's like maybe four actual feathers in this one. It's a lot, <laughs> but um... This looks like something that somebody could use for a certain ball that's coming up, is all I'm going to say about that. Um, and then these are wig stands that are collapsible so that you can bring them with you on vacation and they don't weigh very much. So when you get to your hotel you can pull your wig out and fluff it up. So that's what I got. Which means I didn't spend too much money. I think these uh, fans were maybe 5 or $6, this one was 5 um, each, not very much money. I think this one was maybe three. The coat was $15. These wig stands were a dollar each. So I didn't spend very much money. I think the total was under 50 bucks. So I surprised myself with how little I spent at this, at this white elephant sale. But it was very fun and interesting to look at all the stuff. And yes, yes, I did want that trunk. <laughs> um, everyone keeps asking me why I didn't buy it because I posted it on Instagram. I didn't buy it. Because when you pick it up, it's really heavy, and like, obviously I, you can't travel with a trunk anymore, like that's not a thing. I don't really have anywhere in my house for that, so really it would just go in my garage and then like sit there and be, you know, aesthetic, but away in my garage. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, that's probably useless, so that's why I decided to do that. Anyway, um, since I'm going to go to Disneyland tomorrow, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog now and then I will edit it probably Friday and put it up then for you guys so that you have something to watch this week. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway, despite the fact that there was no sewing, but as someone pointed out, when do I actually ever show you sewing anyway? <laughs> Someone's like, you're a costuming vlog that doesn't sew. Um, I do sew. I sew a lot actually. I sewed so much last year that like, I think I got kind of burnt out. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow... Um, Disneyland. When I get back Friday, I'll probably have to do a bunch of cleanup on my house because I'm leaving it alone basically while I'm gone. So my cats are going to destroy it. <laughs> and then I suppose Saturday I'll probably start work on getting my silhouette corrected. I have my two petticoats who are currently pinned together. I need to shorten these two. Like I also need to make them like do a pin tucker in there or something to get them up another inch or two because I keep peeking out the bottom of my skirts and that's not okay. So anyway, then I will work on my silhouette getting that settled, making bum pads and whatnot for the ball gown, and I'll just use my normal skirt pattern, so I know that one. Um, I'll probably figure out some overskirt to use with it, and then uh, ball gown bodice, and we'll be all set to go, so I'm super, super pumped about it now that I know it's a bustle dress. I don't know why I didn't just decide this months and months ago. It's almost March. I have two months to make this. Oh, I also bought my plane ticket <laughs> to England, so I think I'm leaving the last week of March. So I think like March 27th or something, maybe, maybe somewhere in there. So my due date has moved up a little bit. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to be in England for a little over two weeks. Um, the first weekend I'm going to go to the ball in Bath, and the second weekend I'm going to go to Disneyland Paris with Nikki Leem and Jewel Victoria. <laughs> um, uh, and which I, who I haven't met yet, yet and I adore her, so um, we talk on Instagram every now and then, but I am very excited to go hang out with her. So, um, the Dutchies and I are having a little getaway, and I think one of my buddies that I have known for like 20 years here, I've had her on the vlog before, Deanne, um, we went to the Tate Modern Museum in my London vlog in November. She might come with us as well, so that's exciting. 
Okay, anyway, give this video a thumbs up uh, if you liked it or if you just want Chris's mom to get well. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next week with almost guaranteed sewing, actual literal sewing on this costuming channel. Cool. Yeah. <laughs>